Hi, welcome back to UncoverFraud.com. My name is David Malamud, and I am a forensic accountant and fraud investigation expert with over 20 years of experience. The following are six methods that some spouses use when planning for a divorce. Please use caution if you decide to use any of these methods, as your spouse can find out, only making things worse for you in the long run. Remember, there are forensic accounting and fraud investigators like me who are trained to find money and assets. And if you try to cheat, the intent to conceal assets from your spouse will not only be found, but likely used against you. Okay, the six ways on how to hide money before a divorce are as follows. Number one, rent a safety deposit box. Yes, a safety deposit box at banks are still a thing. They are also a great way to hide money and other valuables before a divorce. All you need to do is visit your bank and ask to start renting one. Of course, you'll also need to find a way to pay for this that doesn't show up in your joint bank account or credit card statements. You will also need to find a safe place to store the key. This is a great option to hide money before a divorce because it affords tons of privacy. Not even the workers at the bank are allowed to know the contents of your safety deposit box. Remember that with this option, the cash inside is not insured, nor is it earning interest. This is a risk you'll have to take if you decide to go this route to hide money and other valuables from your spouse. Number two, open a new bank account. Opening a new bank account is a common way on how to hide money before a divorce. If you would rather stash money in a bank account, open an account that is just for you. Do this at a new bank where you don't already do your banking. Online accounts work well too. Just make sure you advise the bank to correspond with you by email or phone if possible, and not to send any mail to your address. Conversely, you can list your address at a trusted friend or family member's house if you are nervous about your mail ending up in your spouse's hands. Another word of caution, don't transfer your money from your joint account to your new account. This will give up your secret account almost instantly as there will be a record for your spouse to see in your joint account. A smarter option is to take cash out of your joint account and deposit it into your new account. If you're going to be taking this route, make sure you only withdraw a small amount at one time so that you don't arouse suspicion. If you decide to go ahead with this, you will want to give yourself a year or more so that you're able to accumulate a substantial amount. Number three, get cash back. This method of hiding money before divorce is very popular since it is one of the least likely to be detected. Whenever you go to the grocery store, pharmacy, or any other store that allows for cash back, use this option to take out $20 or $40. This method will take some time too, but the great part is that it will show up on your banking statement as a grocery or pharmacy purchase. A pro tip, make sure to get rid of the receipt as soon as possible, as it will indicate that you took cash out. Number four, get a new credit card. Most likely you have joint credit cards with your spouse. If you're planning to hide money from them before a divorce, it's also wise to get a new credit card that is only in your naming. Again, it's best to go to a new bank or online bank that don't currently share with your spouse. Remember that credit card company will send mail, opt for online statements and consider giving your address as a trusted friend or family member's house. Even if you're planning a divorce, it's always wise to have your own credit card and establish credit in your own name. In the event that you do break up, it will be much easier to reestablish your life. With this credit card, you can put in additional funds so that you actually carry a credit balance, hiding your money from your spouse. Number five, purchase prepaid credit cards. When you purchase a prepaid credit card at a pharmacy or gas station, the transaction in your bank account will show up as the store that you purchased it from. This means the purchase will look like every other purchase and won't raise any red flags. Slowly purchase these or use your new credit card to purchase them and save them for when you need them. You can even store them in your safety deposit box. Number six, purchase gift cards. Another thing you can stock up on are gift cards. Again, these will look like any other pharmacy or gas station purchase. You can get them from a variety of different stores and save them up for when you need to use them. Remember to discard all of the receipts and you're good to go. Whether you decide to hide the money 
from your spouse before your divorce or not, at least now you know some of the common ways this is done. You can also look out for your spouse doing any of these things. When it gets to numbers in the billions, multiple million dollar properties, loads of unused land, and almost an unlimited arsenal of entertainment distractions like yachts, planes, and helicopters, a billion here or a billion there likely isn't going to change anyone's life or the future of many generations. For those of you worried that assets are or have been hidden and your spouse has been more naughty than nice, call me and I can help. Again, my name is David Malamed and I am a forensic accountant and fraud investigation expert. To find out more about me and the services we offer, please visit uncoverfraud.com. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe as well as leave me a like and some comments below. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you again. God bless.